The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. And our stock of the day is Drone Shield, the defence contractor releasing its quarterly results today. Uh, year to date revenue down uh, almost $8 million from the previous corresponding period to just about $31 million. I have explains this with the delivery of a material order announced last year. Third quarter cash receipts were up 18% on the prior corresponding period to $9.1 million, representing a record performance for the third quarter. However, management highlights that this revenue decline reflects the delivery of a material order announced as I mentioned there back in July 23. Also notes that there are material deliveries already uh, having been delivered and scheduled for the fourth quarter worth an estimated 24.1 million in revenue. As a result, it estimates that its uh, full year 24 revenue currently stands at 55.2 million. It has 240 million in existing inventory by sale value held. And it estimates that it has a robust sales pipeline worth around $1.1 billion. The end of the period, Drone Shield had a cash balance of over $238 million and no debt. Uh, but the revenue slump may explain why those shares are down today. In fact, it's made a bit of a comeback. was down uh, substantially more at the beginning there, but uh, currently off around 2%. Uh, but if we look more broadly, the stock has come off quite considerably over the latter half of this year. Luke, how are you seeing it then where the company's placed right now? Yeah, well, like I said, Andrew, I mean, you know, I don't like seeing a market where there's a bit of speculation and there's no doubt, you know, Drone Shield had that, um, you know, earlier this year. I think, yeah, there's the chart there. The stock got up to $2.70. Um, and look, you know, the market, it always takes a kernel of truth when it sort of gets excited and, and starts to really ramp these sorts of things. And there's no doubt about what Drone Shield does. There is a market there for it. We know that the drones, especially in warfare, are starting to be used more. And so, you know, they were winning contracts, of course, with the US Department of Defense and other government agencies. Um, but but the, the price where it got to and, and even where it is today is still well ahead of the fundamentals of this business. Um, the, the quarterly today, as you said, revenue backwards, it's going through a period of growth where it's, it's going to be quite lumpy, lumpy around servicing those projects. I'm happy to sort of um, look past that a little bit, but, you know, still a, a $20 million cash burn and, and 50 million through the first nine months now. To be fair to management, a lot of that cash burn is they're building up the inventory to, to to service this this growth they see. It's not quite there in the order book though. I mean, they they said they've got two hundred and forty million dollars worth of inventory, um, you know, sitting on the balance sheet, but only forty odd million dollars in the order book. So, you know, you're really backing management here that these big chunky orders are really about to to come through quick because you're in a fast moving segment where that inventory can age quite quickly and you might have write downs. So. As I sit here today, you know, still eight hundred odd million dollar market cap, um, plenty of cash in the bank because management were smart enough to, you know, tap institutions on the shoulder when that share price uh, there was a bit of froth and, and bubble in it. Um, so, so no issues there with the balance sheet, but but the valuation is beyond me. I, I'd actually have this as a sell. I, I suspect there's further weakness in the share price. And oh, it looks as though we've just lost Luke. We'll try and reconnect there, but at least we got his call in. Uh, seeing it as very expensive at this point, so um, he would sell it. John, what are your thoughts? I would um, add to what Luke said is those numbers weren't pretty this morning. Um, Drone Shield had phenomenal growth at the start of the year, but now reality is hitting and they're going to get that order book to become reality for it to justify its value. The market's got ahead of itself now and I would consider it a sell. All right, okay. How, but looking forward though, and you know we know the market for these uh, for drones at the moment used in warfare, and obviously that's where this business comes in. Uh, can you price it on on what's ahead? It's very difficult to price it on what's ahead because technology moves fast. Mm. Who's to say there's not another peer that's going to come out with a better drone shield or a more efficient way to um, for have a defence system out there? So I'm I'm a little bit wary. The company's done phenomenal, phenomenally well, but now reality bites, and they're going to have to prove it in their numbers. All right. I think we've got uh, Luke back there. Luke, did you want to finish that thought? You just we, we lost you when you said you have slapped a sell on it. Yeah, I, I basically just said exactly what John did is that you're in a fast moving segment. You know, uh, they've built up a lot of inventory and, and they've got to 
sell that and, and quickly. Um, and, and I sort of question the ability to do that when you haven't seen these orders come through. So I was just reiterating that point. All right, there you go. So uh, reality biting, as uh, John had mentioned there, both have a sell for Drone Shell. That's our stock of the day. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.